okay so good morning all of you since yesterday's class was not uploaded so that is why today i am going to teach you all <coughs> equations of value okay so please put the heading equations of value and what we'll do is tomorrow we'll do anvity sums class okay so today we are doing equations of value and tomorrow we are going to do free practice okay so equations of value now let's say suppose uh, let's take the example of a share which is currently priced 250 rupees so what does this 250 rupees mean you are paying the company 250 rupees to buy one share okay and why are you paying the company 250 rupees your present value of outflow your present value of outflow is 250 rupees yes or no your present value of outflow is 250 rupees and why are you paying the company 250 rupees because you expect that in future the company is going to pay you cash flows the present value of which is 250 okay so equations of value tells us about pvo pvo means present value of outflow should be equal to present value of inflow this is equation of value okay present value of outflow is equal to present value of inflow now these two things like present value of outflow and present value of inflow will be equal at a particular rate will be equal at a particular rate and that rate is known as investors rate of return okay now for example I am investing in a bond okay I am investing in a bond the structure of which is as follows 0 1 2 3 4 5 so in this bond here I am paying 1000 okay and I am getting 80 80 80 80 plus 1080 80 rupees for interest and 1000 as the redemption okay so if you see now what is my outflow my outflow is this and these are my inflows so how much is 80 by 1000 8 percent so basically this loan agreement is paying me 8 percent interest correct so what I'll do is I'll 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 calculate present value of outflow when I calculate present value of outflow what is it I get 1000 now let's calculate present value of inflow present value of inflow will be 80 a 5 because we are getting a level annuity for 5 years of rupees 80 and we are getting 1000 rupees at the end of year 5 yes or no so 1000 b to the power 5 now can you calculate present value of inflow at the rate 8% please calculate and tell me what is the answer calculate present value of inflow at the rate 8% please calculate and tell me what is the answer The answer should come to 1000 please check and let me know the calculator okay yeah so basically present value of outflow and present value of inflow is equal at 8 percent rate of interest so this is equations of value now why have I paid 1000 because I expect that I am going to get it in the future right so basically present value of inflow means all the future inflows is counted at some rate and here that rate is what 8% here that rate is what 8% so what is equations of value please write down present first copy this first copy this So equations of value tells us that present value of outflow should be equal to present value of inflow.
ओके हैव यू ऑल सीन द कैलकुलेटर वीडियोज विच आई सेंट इन ग्रुप येस्टरडे इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर टूडेज क्लास दैट कैलकुलेटर वीडियोज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके तो नाउ लेट्स टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ओके एट टाइम जीरो एट टाइम जीरो वी आर पेइंग हंड्रेड एट टाइम फाइव वी आर गेटिंग सिक्सटी एंड एट टाइम टेन वी आर गेटिंग सिक्सटी यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट द इफेक्टिव रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट तो वॉट इज पी वी ओ पी वी ओ इज हंड्रेड वॉट इज पी वी आई सिक्सटी वी टू दी पार फाइव बिकॉज वी आर गेटिंग सिक्सटी आफ्टर फाइव ईयर्स एंड द डिस्काउंटिंग फैक्टर फॉर फाइव ईयर्स इज वी टू दी पार फाइव प्लस सिक्सटी वी टू दी पार टेन नाउ वॉट डज इक्वेशन ऑफ वैल्यू टेल अस इट इज वॉट डज इक्वेशन ऑफ वैल्यू टेल्स अस इक्वेशन ऑफ वैल्यू टेल्स अस दैट हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी वी टू दी पार फाइव प्लस सिक्सटी वी टू दी पार टेन नाउ प्लीज सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन वॉट विल डू इज विल टेक वी टू दी पार फाइव एज ए ओके एंड द इक्वेशन विल टर्न आउट टू बी हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी ए प्लस सिक्सटी ए स्क्वायर ओके नाउ इट इज सिक्सटी ए स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्सटी ए माइनस हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो अप्लाई श्रीधर आचार्य फॉर्मूला ओके माइनस बी प्लस माइनस रूट अंडर बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी बाय टू ए ओके एंड यू विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए प्लीज सॉल्व प्लीज सॉल्व दिस There are two methods to solve. One is the linear interpolation, and the other is Sridhar Acharya. So, whenever there is square terms, we'll use Sridhar Acharya only. We'll use Sridhar Acharya only. Okay. Now we'll get the value of a, and then again we need to substitute and get the answer. So, what are the two values that we are getting of a? Since discounting factor cannot be negative, we'll ignore the negative value. Okay, we'll take only the positive value. The value that we'll obtain is zero point double eight double four. Okay, zero point double eight double four. The negative value we'll ignore. Now, what is a v to the power five? So v to the power five is zero point double eight double four. Correct. So now, one plus i to the power minus five is what? Zero point double eight double four. Now calculate i. That is the answer. Okay. Please solve for i. Two point four nine is the correct answer. So I is zero point zero two four nine. Very good. Now, in the next question, I am giving you a timeline. Okay, I am giving you a timeline. This is zero. This is ten. Okay. So the face value 
is 100. Okay? The coupon rate is 5%. Coupon rate means the regular interest payment is 5. So at time 1 we are going to get 5, at time 2 we are going to get 5 and at time 10 we are going to get 5. The redemption value is 125. Basically the company is redeeming the bond at 25% premium. Okay? And the rate of interest I is 10%. Okay? I is 10%. I means what? Pulling rate. The rate at which we will be pulling the cash flows. Okay? So if I is 10%, you need to calculate the price. You need to calculate the price. Okay? So first we will be making the equation. So we are getting level 5. So we are getting... So we are getting level 5, 5, A, 10 and we are getting 125, right? At the end of 10 years and now we will pull this equation at the rate 10%. Please solve and get the answer. Please solve and get the answer. Is it clear everyone? Okay. Basically the price that we are going to pay today is the present value of all the future inflows that we are going to get from the bond discounted at the rate 10%. Because I need 10% return from the bond. It is very clear. If I am discounting my cash flows at 10%, this means I need 10% return from the bond. Okay? Please calculate and tell me. What is the answer? 78.92 is the correct answer. Very good. Now, the third example. Now they have given you, I am drawing the timeline again. Now they have given you the price. Now they have given you the price. The price is 127.12. Okay, now you will get regular cash flows for 10 years. Okay, and the redemption is at 125. The interest rate is 7.75%. You need to calculate the regular interest payment. Basically, you need to calculate the coupon rate. The regular interest payment you need to calculate. So, how are we going to make the equation of our value? Now, the first thing that we are going to do is 127.12, correct? 127.12 basically what is 127.12 it is the present value of outflow let's assume the regular interest payment is x okay so x we will get for 10 years so x say 10 we are getting in arrears okay we are getting in arrears we are getting in arrears so x say 10 plus 125 we are going to get after 10 years and the discounting rate is what 0 0.0775 correct yes or no huh now please solve and get the answer for x. Like this you can solve any unknown quantity that they are going to ask. Coupon rate. Coupon rate is the regular interest payment. Okay. Coupon rate, okay. What is the answer, Arshia? No, Vabhav, you have got the wrong answer. Ten is the correct answer. Very good. So basically, the annual interest payment is ten. The annual interest payment is 10.
ओके okay.